God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Today's reading from Genesis rounds out the six days of creation that we began hearing yesterday. It also includes a seventh day of rest, a Sabbath built right into creation. Now, in our passage today, creation is completed by the creation of humanity in the image of God. Yesterday, we marveled at the goodness of creation in general, which is something we can sometimes forget, especially when we encounter suffering or difficulty of any kind. Today, this message of goodness stretches to ourselves. Perhaps one of the most difficult things to conceptualize is our own fundamental goodness. And the message of today's scripture is clear that human beings, each of us, are a good and wonderful creation of God. And we make the world go from being good to being very good. Sometimes when we're faced with our own sinfulness and our own imperfections, we can easily lose sight of our own goodness. But this is what we're reminded of today, and we should always remember. Our sinfulness and our imperfections are not what we are. Rather, what we are, what you are, is a wonderfully good creation of God, made in his image, and, by the way, who's loved infinitely by God. And we should never, ever forget that fact. Our scriptures here in Genesis 1 begin this way by reminding us of this fact because God's love for each one of us, God's love for you, is the basis of the story of salvation, that story that's eventually revealed fully in Christ and extends to what he's doing in our lives right now, what he's doing in your life right now.